snorkeling okay we are in kudagiri okay so this is kudagiri kudagiri is very famous for the live corals there's lots of colorful fishes lots of colorful corals okay so it's a very beautiful location to come and snorkel and today just because uh, the wind changed the direction completely that's why it was a little bit difficult for us to park the boat but we just parked the boat so that it's going to be easier for us to snorkel okay so the boat will be staying here we'll put the ladder and if anybody for example while they're snorkeling if anybody is tired or something they can come back to the boat okay so uh, guys what we're going to do is today you can see we'll jump in from one side for example this side and slowly slowly snorkel to the upper corner of the reef okay we don't have to go too far away because most of the corals and colorful fishes will be nearby okay and always remember guys uh, for example once we jump in we so we'll always try to stay on the edge of the reef, okay? If you go into the middle, more or less, you'll be able to see lots of sandy uh, spots and then lots of big corals, okay? But if you stay on the edge, you will be able to see lots of beautiful fishes, lots of colorful corals, okay? So always try to stay on the edge so that we'll be able to see lots of things, okay? And we'll be taking a lot of underwater pictures and videos. So whenever you see the GoPro, try to look at the GoPro, okay? So that the pictures and videos will be nice. Okay, if you look to the other side, still the picture will be nice, but you won't be looking. Okay, so always recommend you to look at the GoPro so that uh, once we're taking pictures. Okay, okay. and today we'll divide the group in two. All right, so the swimmers and non-swimmers. Okay, so that both can enjoy. Okay, so the swimmers will jump in first. Will follow me to the upper corner. The non-swimmers okay, okay. will wait here by the boat first. Check if you're feeling comfortable, then you can uh, come slowly, slowly with us. Okay, we'll. We are both swimmers, but I have babies, so she goes first. Can I just go around? Yeah, of course, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are not going too far. Uh, we're going to stay here for more or less 45 minutes. Okay. Right? So, for example, we are not going too far. Yeah. I'll be coming back and forth. I'll be checking up on all the others as well. Like, not only swimmers, I'll be checking up on the non swimmers as well. Okay? Both can enjoy. For example, if we stay nearby, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit difficult. But if we go slowly, slowly, we can check. We can see many, many things. So the water will go, for example, if you go to the shadow side, it will go to one and one and a half meters and then will slowly drop two meters, six and then goes directly down to 16. Ah. Okay. Let's go to 16. Uh, Alright guys, couple of rules, okay? Couple of rules, please don't touch, hit, stand on anything, okay? We don't want to, we don't want you to get cut from under the water and then plus we don't want to damage any corals either, okay? So please be careful with yourself once you're snorkeling, don't step or stand on anything, okay? Be careful with yourself and try to enjoy more or less, okay? And those who don't know how to swim, uh, do you guys know how to use the snorkel? I'll explain, okay? Only snorkel. Okay guys, um, so I'm going to explain you how to use the snorkel really fast, okay? So it's very easy actually. Okay guys, settle down. I'll uh, just explain this a little bit, okay? So when you wear the mask, always remember guys, the band, the strap should always be above the ears, never below the ears, okay? For example, when you wear it, it should be in this area, okay? Always above your ears, never below the ears. If it goes below the ears, the mask will fall down and it will be uncomfortable for you if it's under your ears, okay? And once you wear the uh, snorkel, sorry, the mask, don't breathe through your nose, okay? If you breathe through your nose, the mask will get foggy and you won't be able to see that much clearly. Okay? And for example, if there is water inside your snorkel, just pull your nose a little bit, let the water out and put it back in. Okay? okay? Don't remove the whole thing. Okay? If you remove the whole mask, it's going to be a little bit difficult once inside the water put it, to put it back in again. Okay? So keep it. If there is water inside, pull your nose to let the water out. Okay? All good? And for example, if this one goes below my ears, if this strap goes below my ears, you can see it's very, it's slowly, slowly uh, falling down and it's going to be very easy to fall down. Okay? And it's going to be uncomfortable as well. Okay? So always remember to keep it above your ears. Alright? And now how to use the snorkel. So this is the most important part of the equipment. Okay? So you can see here in between these two parts, okay? You have to gently bite, but don't eat the mouth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not food, okay? It's not 
just put your teeth in between here. Your teeth should be touching this area, okay? And the whole thing should be covered up with your lips and always keep your lips tightly closed, okay? If you open the mouth, the water will go slowly, slowly inside. For example, like this, okay? Always keep your lips tightly closed. Don't open your mouth when you breathe. Some people try to do this, okay? Don't do that, okay? Always try to keep your lips tightly closed. And for example, if there is water inside your snorkel, just put your head up on the surface and do this, okay? And then the water will go out. <laughs> Sorry. Right. See, the water did go out. <laughs> Alright guys, so always just uh, slowly, slowly, not too hard, just a little bit, just and then the water will go out. The easier, that's some, some simple way is just remove the snorkel, pour all the water out and put it back in. Okay?